It's Monday, October 31st. Happy Halloween. I'm Barry Davis with your Ken's 5 News Now. A man escaped serious injury after his big rig crashed on San Antonio's far southeast side. Police are still trying to figure out exactly how it happened. The semi was found on its side on I-37 near Donna Road just before 1.30 this morning. The driver was stuck inside until the fire department was able to get him out. He was checked out at the scene but didn't want to be taken to the hospital. Police say they don't suspect DWI, they, so no charges have been filed against that driver. Police are also looking for the person who shot an off-duty police officer. They say his 16-year-old son was in the car at the same time. Investigators believe it was a case of road rage. Happened just after 9 Saturday night on 1604 at New Gilbo Road. They say an off-duty officer and his son were driving home when another car started tailgating them. As it passed, someone inside fired off several rounds, hitting the officer. His son wasn't hit and called police. The 47-year-old officer was taken to the hospital. The suspect took off. A special mass was held over the weekend to remember the dozens of lives lost on San Antonio's southwest side. Four months ago, 53 migrants died in a big rig along Quintana Road. Since then, people from all over have visited the roadside memorial, but some of those victims' families still have no closure and have not been able to visit the memorial. She was supposed to be here this beautiful day. She was approved um, to come on an emergency visa, and then less than 48 hours, she was denied. Now, the group remembered the people lost with song and prayer. And this Dia de los Muertos, you can find an altar dedicated to those victims at Mi Tierra. They're highlighting, celebrating their lives, and praying for the victims with a larger-than-life altar. And it's going to remain in Mi Tierra's lobby through November 9th for those who wish to come and pay remembrance to the Mexican, Honduran, and Guatemalan immigrants. Now, if you haven't gotten your flu shot, you might want to do that soon. Texas is one of four states across the country with a high level of respiratory illnesses, and doctors are telling everyone who can to get the shot. The latest Texas flu report shows more October tests are turning out to be positive than in any of the last three years. Children are the group being affected the most, but within families that can quickly spread around. Texas health officials say they've reached out across the state to see what trends were like and saw a pattern forming. They're also urging healthy habits like remember to wash your hands often. The man accused of attacking Paul Pelosi, the husband of House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, is expected to be formally charged later this morning. David DePap is accused of breaking into the Pelosi home in San Francisco Friday, fracturing Paul Pelosi's skull and injuring his arm and hands. A spokesperson says Paul Pelosi is expected to make a full recovery, but the House Speaker says the alleged attack has left her family heartbroken and traumatized. The Spurs beat the Minnesota Timberwolves last night again, but they took the court without guard Joshua Primo, who has since been waived by the team for apparent issues off the court. Spurs Sports and Entertainment CEO R.C. Buford announced the 12th overall pick in the 2021 draft was being dropped from the team. This comes after a troubling report by ESPN stated Primo had exposed himself to multiple women, including a former Spurs employee. That employee set to hire Houston attorney Tony Busby, who most recently represented women who made similar complaints about Cleveland Browns quarterback Deshaun Watson. And trending online, a few reasons to smile this Halloween. Newborn babies in the Baptist Health System, Niku, are celebrating Halloween with special costumes. Check this out, from peanut butter and jelly twins to Jake from State Farm. Definitely something sweet for your Monday morning. The hospital system thanking the staffers on hand who all helped make this Halloween weekend extra special for the babies and their parents. That is a look at your Ken's 5 News Now. Remember, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us online. I'm Barry Davis. Thanks for joining us.